Hey everyone, Will from Cattail Antennas again. Today we're going to be discussing adapters. Now on my website, I have so many different adapters for different radios, and that's a good thing for you guys. Uh, it means compatibility along a lot of different radios. It also means you can just buy one antenna or one relocation cable and buy an adapter for a couple bucks and save money and, and use that between multiple radios. We're going to be covering a broad spectrum of adapters. Some may be applicable to you, some may not. So check out the video's chapters in here and kind of find where you're, you're looking for. So if you're looking for a military radio adapter, you're going to keep your eyes out for TNC. If you're doing a civilian radio, usually that's going to be SMA. So just keep your eye on the chapter uh, to make it easy. All right, guys, the first adapter we're going to be looking at is the Bofang adapter. This is SMA female to BNC female. This is going to work with all the antennas and relocation cables except anything that's TNC. So the squad leader and all the TNC relocation cables will not fit on this. It has to be a BNC male antenna or BNC male relocation cable. Now, when you're trying to decide what adapter is right for your radio, a first good little hint that the Bofang adapter is gonna fit is this nice wide opening in the antenna port and the plastic casing for the radio is nice and wide as well. If that plastic casing is a little bit more elevated you're probably gonna need the small walled adapter and we'll talk about that adapter in a minute. Now on the website, I have all the measurements, but something you can do is go ahead and measure our adapter here, which is 0.57 inches. And then if you're unsure this is gonna to be too wide, uh, you can go ahead and measure the width of this wall here. And that's what I recommend everyone doing if, if you're unsure. Now these are, this isn't a Bofang uh, radio here, but you can tell it uses a very similar SMA male port. And of course you're gonna wanna put in that O-ring prior, but you can see that that fits nice and well. And you want that wall to be very close to the walls of the radio port. Uh, that'll just keep it, uh, the threads protected if you get if you bump it. And it'll also prevent debris or anything falling in there. And this is of course a UV5R and it fits uh, very well in there. You don't see any gap. The small walled adapter. This adapter is for um, if you have a Motorola style radio, almost always the small walled is going to be the way to go. Um, before we even continue on, I want to say that the thread on the small walled is actually a little bit longer. So let's see if we can get that on camera. It's just a tad bit longer. And that's normally to incorporate because a lot of radios that have this um, deeper and, and closer in uh, antenna port jacket, they're normally deeper down. So having this longer thread is uh, what you would want. So for instance, this is a UV9R Plus. This is a radio that I specifically put on the website because this is, yes, this is a Bofang radio. The Bofang adapter does not fit in it. This wall here, it's catching up on the knurling and it's not allowing it to screw in. We could sit here all day and just screw and we're just spinning on nothing. So it's not allowing it to go all the way in. You can see the depth in there compared to a radio that would allow the Bofang adapter. Now I'll show you here with the small walled. Place it right in and you can see there is plenty of space to let it in. And it goes right down in there, no problem. The cool thing about the small walled adapter is it does fit radios that do work with a Bofang adapter. The thing you gotta watch out for now is you have this large gap. Uh, you know, relatively large. And that's something that could let in debris or water. Um, of course, you're gonna wanna have the O-ring in. That's something to consider. Now, like I said, if you have a Motorola radio, most of the time you're gonna want the small wall adapter. Even if the clearance on a Bofang would make it, most Motorola's have a deeper port similar to this. So you want that little bit of extra thread length. Here's one of uh, an EF Johnson radio. And you can see here, for example, the small wallet is a little bit better because there's not much depth to let it screw in. So we want a little bit more length to get down in there to make a positive connection. That's just one example of where a small wallet may be more favorable for you. So if you're trying to decide between these two, grab your radio, grab some calipers, and start doing some measurements. I have all the measurements on the website, and I'm going to put them up right now here. This adapter here that I offer on the website is a BNC female. To SMA female again, but this is called the no walled adapter. This is an adapter I really only recommend if you're doing experimental stuff or if you're doing home station builds. 
I don't recommend this for field use. You can do some modifications. Um, for example, here's a piece of glue line heat, heat shrink. Um, I have seen people make a uh, some type of protective jacket to kind of simulate the wall on a protective adapter. But just to give you an idea of what this looks like, it would go down in there and you can see there's a large gap and you can see if I bent that, if I really hit that hard, it would probably snap off inside my radio and that's something you wouldn't want. Let's look at it on it. This is a great example on this uh, EF. See that? The last SMA adapter that I offer on the website is actually SMA male. So it's still BNC female, so it's still it still will work with any of the antennas except the squad leader or any of the TNC relocation cables. Um, and this adapter is actually included in the hotshot package. And I call it the hotshot package because a lot of uh, wildland firefighter uh, and firemen use radios that, that require this adapter. So even if you're not a fireman and uh, you just happen to own a civilian radio that is SMA female ported, thus needing an SMA male, uh, the hotshot package will include the adapter. These two are TNC male to BNC female. This adapter here, I actually don't sell separately on the website. Uh, we're, we're planning to put them up. Uh, there's just supply issues, but this comes with the RTO. So if you want a straight TNC male to BNC female, you have to get the RTO package to get this one. And then these are sold separate or you can buy them combined with an RTO package. And this is a 90 degree variant. So what these are commonly used for is military radios, something like a PRC 152. So depending on how you have your gear placed, you may want 90 degree and you may want straight. When you look on the website, this adapter is marked 90 degree TNC male for the RTO. I've seen people place orders for the squad leader and then purchase this adapter. And I have to contact them and tell them, hey, this adapter is not compatible. Here we have a TNC female to TNC male antenna. This adapter is only for the squad leader or any of the straight TNC relocation cables out there. As you can see here, that would just input directly into a PRC 152, a 148, other various radios, and would allow your standard squad leader antenna or relocation cable to be angled. All right, let's talk about BNC mail. And these are two connection types that are directly inputted into the antenna, meaning these are non-removable. But this is what an adapter is actually gonna to connect to. This is BNC straight, and this is BNC 90 degrees. I really like the versatility of BNC straight because you can actually directly input this into something like an ASIP or a 117 Golf or 117 Fox. Another cool thing is you can 90 degree, you can use 90 degree adapters on a military radio and then use a Bofang adapter and then connect it into a civilian model so it can save you some money. You can use one antenna and swap it between. Now a question that comes up a lot is why would I get the 90 degree variant of the BNC? Um, if you are utilizing military style radios, I would not recommend it because we have a lot of sturdy 90 degree adapters that will go onto the straight model. If you have a Motorola, uh, Yesu, Bofang, one of the civilian variants, and you want the ability to have a 90 degree antenna, but still keep it durable with a straight adapter like this, I'd recommend picking one of these up. That There are some people that get confused because there are 90 degree SMA adapters out there, but they're very, they're not rigid. They don't have this protective bump wall like the adapters I provide have, and they're only good for bench operations. They will connect to a straight and then connect to a, a radio but I would never recommend using it for field use. So if you're adamant on having a 90 degree antenna relocation cable, this is the most sturdy way to go. This is TNC male, and this is commonly found on the squad leader and a lot of the relocation cables that state TNC male on the antenna end. This is used a lot with military personnel because this really only directly inputs to a lot of military style radios. So a lot of on the civilian side aren't purchasing these. Um, also, the adapters are a little bit more harder to source, and the only adapter I provide for this was the previously shown 90 degree TNC adapter. The plus side to this over some of the BNC options is, if you only want direct input and a low profile on the radio, you get that with TNC mail. You also have a nice hard shell here. BNC has almost a skeleton-like cover here, and that can, you know, be, it's, it could be more prone to damage. 
and it just screws on. So it, it's a really simple procedure to put it on and off and very secure. You know, the downside would being is you lose a lot of the modularity with BNC and you don't have quick disconnect. So for a lot of people, including myself, when I was using these, I like the quick disconnect, but there are some people that don't mind and they have the radio in a right spot where it doesn't matter. So they just, they go with the TNC option. All right, guys, I hope that cleared up a lot of the confusion. If you still got more questions, don't hesitate to ask. Just shoot them down in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. I'm really active there.